Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving an interesting equation e raised to the power ln x over x equal to square root i. I am going to demonstrate the simplification of RHS by two different methods. So let's get started. I am writing RHS method number 1. I will simplify this square root i in terms of exponent. See how it is. First manipulation I will consider. I will write i as 2i over 2. Okay. Now in next manipulation step I will write add and subtract 1 in the numerator. So it will become like this. Okay. Now I know that in complex number i can be written as square root of minus 1 as well as i square is negative 1. So in place of minus 1 I will write i square. So 1 plus i square plus 2i divided by 2. Okay. Now you can see it is 1 square plus i square plus 2 times 1 times i. What I am transforming actually? a plus b whole square. So it is actually 1 plus i whole square divided by 2 whole square root which is square root and square will be over in the numerator only. So I will write 1 plus i and in denominator there would be square root 2. Up to this point there, there is no any point. Now come to split the real and imaginary part. So I will write 1 over root 2 plus i times 1 over root 2. Now 1 over root 2 is familiar. It is cos pi by 4 and sin pi by 4. So let me write cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 cos theta plus i sin theta. So it is basically e raised to the power i pi by 4. This is our RHS. Now I will solve or I will simplify RHS again using Euler's identity. That is my second approach. e raised to the power i theta. It is cosine theta plus i sin theta using Euler's identity or theorem. Now I will substitute theta is equal to pi by 2 because my target is i. So if I will write pi by 2 in place of theta then it will become cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2. Sin pi by 2 is 1, cos pi by 2 is 0. So this will come out i. Okay. As per our requirement it is square root i. So i is e raised to the power i pi by 2. So I will write e square root i will become e raised to the power i pi by 2 whole power 1 by 2 or e square root. Now by the exponent property a power b whole power c can be written as a power b times c. So I will take product of the exponents i times pi by 4. See it is matching with the previous one. Now one task is clear that e raised to the power i pi by 4 is our RHS. That means our equation is e raised to the power i pi by 4. Once I will write this I can equate our power it should match. So I will write ln x over x equal to let me write here ln x over x is equal to i pi by 4. Now we will solve this equation. How? ln x over x i pi by 4. Now by the exponent property we can write x as e power ln x. 
सो इन डिनोमिनेटर आई विल राइट एल एन एक्स ओवर ई पार एल एन एक्स ई पार एल एन एक्स इक्वल टू आई टाइम्स फाइव बाई फोर डन नाउ आई विल टेक दिस एक्सपोनशियल टर्म इन द न्यूमरेटर सो इट विल बिकम एल एन एक्स टाइम्स ई रेस टू द पार माइनस एल एन एक्स इट इज इक्वल टू आई फाइव ओवर फोर डन नाउ कम टू लैम्बा डब्ल्यू फंक्शन द जनरल फॉर्म इफ एक्स टाइम्स ई रेस टू द पार एक्स इज देयर हैविंग सेम एक्सपोनेंट एंड सेम कोफिशियंट then once if i will take lambda w of this then i will be getting x important is coefficient or multiplier it should match with exponent or power here it is not matching it is minus ln x but here it is only ln x so i need to multiply with minus sign once i will do that and if i will take lambda w function both sides then what will happen see lhs will become using this property of lambda w i can write minus ln x and rhs will become lambda w function of minus i pi by 4 now multiply this equation by minus sign i will get ln x is equal to minus lambda w function of minus i pi by 4 write in exponential form i can write x is equal to e raised to the power minus w minus i pi by 4 okay once i will solve our rhs i will be having x is equal to 0.65 plus i times 0.36 this is how i can find out our x value see it is in cartesian form a plus ib form let me write here x is equal to a plus ib so i can convert into polar form how r modulus equal to under the root a square plus b square and theta is equal to tan inverse b over a so i will use these formulas our x was x is equal to 0.65 plus i times 0.36 so if i will calculate our r then it will become 0.65 square plus 0 0.36 square it is 0. Point. okay if you will calculate this value then this is coming out 0.74 theta if you will find out tan inverse by b upon a imaginary over real part so i will write 0.36 over 0.65 this value is coming out 0.512 so let me write our answer in polar form also x is equal to 0.74 e raised to the power i theta so i is i and theta is 5 0.512 let me write in this so this is again our answer in polar form we can write the general solution also there will be infinitely many solution so by replacing theta with theta plus 2k pi k belongs to integer so this is only one solution i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching Do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video